Okay, so today I want to share with you some of my recent purchases, some things that I've been testing out when it comes to skincare, a little bit of makeup, and one hair product that I am excited to share with you guys. Oh, and a little bit of some like body-related products. And I just want to jump right into it, you guys. I want to let you know that I am using a new camera and also I'm testing out a different microphone. It feels really weird. I'm not wearing a lapel mic, which usually gives you better sound quality. I have this little mic sitting down here and if it doesn't sound great, I'm so sorry. I'll just do better next time because I can put a lapel mic into this, but I just want to try it on its own like this. Okay, so I know you guys don't need to know that. You don't care. It's fine. But if the sound is bad, please tell me. So I just want to jump right into things, you guys. Uh, I want to let you know this product that I've been testing out for, I would say, a couple of months now. I went onto Amazon because I was looking for some type of product, a glossing hair product. I am very unfamiliar with those types of products. My hair does not look glossy and shiny and things of that nature. That is not normal to my hair. So I wanted to try something out and I ended up finding this product right here, DP Hue Gloss Plus Semi-Permanent Hair Color and Deep Conditioner Glosser. I've used almost half of the bottle only. I have a lot of hair, but I feel like I don't need to use that much. And if I didn't say it, this is in light brown. This also comes in a clear color and then multiple other colors. You gotta be careful if you're gonna try this. Be careful with the colors that you choose because, for example, this is light brown, but it imparts a very deep, dark brown into your hair. Since I've moved to this house that I'm living in right now, in the middle of nowhere in the woods, I stopped coloring my hair um, completely. It just decided like, why am I doing this? I don't wanna do it anymore. It was just one of those things where I had done that for so many years and you just don't know what your hair color is anymore and you continue to do it to try to maintain, I guess. But I stopped and I'm glad that I did that. I didn't buy this to dye my hair, which like I said, it's semi-permanent, which is very interesting. So it's kind of like risk-free. Basically, um, I just wanted something to make my hair look nicer and shiny and glossier. And I feel like this does that. I don't know, I don't see like a massive change. My hair doesn't look super, super shiny. Really, I don't think I use enough of the product. Maybe I need to really go in next time and use more of it and leave it on longer because sometimes I just leave it on for like a minute and wash it off. It says at least three minutes is best. And to me, this is not toxic. I need to double check the ingredients, but it really does seem like not toxic. It's not like a normal hair dye. And like I said, I didn't get it to dye my hair. I feel like it just evens out the tone of my hair and just gives it like this rich color and it does feel better and it seems to look better. It does look shinier, but it's not like super pronounced. I'd like to try their clear one maybe next time, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. I am enjoying this product a lot. I will share with you what I've been using like for some body care products, which I've never really shared um, on this channel before. This right here is the coconut and hibiscus bath body and massage oil. It smells amazing if you've ever used these um, types of products, the coconut hibiscus scent. Oh, it smells so good and smells very natural. What I do is when I get out of the shower, I want to use some of this, but I, I am so weird with oils. I don't like to just apply them by themselves. This right here is my big huge bottle of lotion and this is just some Walmart lotion, you guys. I recommend this if you need a basic lotion and you don't want to waste all your money with everything that's going on with the financial climate, you know. This is like $3, I think, and this is the Equate Beauty. It says, compare it to the Vaseline Intensive Repair Advanced Repair Lotion. Really nice basic lotion. I feel like it has, maybe there's no fragrance. I'm hoping it has no fragrance, but I notice a slight smell to it and maybe it's just from, it looks like it's from the natural ingredients because it looks like there's no fragrance and the pump doesn't work, so that's great. You get what you pay for, just kidding. But I end up like opening this up and putting some of this into my hand and then pouring some of this into my hand. Right when I get out of the shower, I'm still a little bit wet and then I put that all over my body, my legs, my arms, everywhere and then it smells amazing because this already doesn't really have a scent too much and it's just so hydrating and one feels amazing and I've used very little of this and I've been doing that for quite a while now so that's kind of nice it lasts one other thing I forgot to mention is I've been kind of obsessed with like lip sleeping masks the best one I've ever used hands down my personal favorite 
I don't know what happened to it. They're not selling it now. It was the Mamond Lip Sleeping Mask, and I would use this all day long on my lips, and it felt amazing. The closest thing that I could do to, like, to get as close to that one as possible was the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, and this one's very popular. It comes with a little scooper, which... I lost so that's kind of gross sometimes I'll use a q-tip and just like scoop it in because this is kind of deep that you get a lot of product with this and it feels amazing on the lips I still prefer the Mamond one and I've been purchasing a bunch of different lip sleeping masks from different brands all over the place different price points and I'll do a separate video or talk about them all in a separate video but overall this is the winner so far for me okay my cat is here if for some reason you don't like the Laneige formula, uh, another product that I really like for a lip treatment or lip balm is the Paula's Choice Lip and Body Treatment Balm. I've used it on my fingers, like I had a cut around uh, one of my nails and it seemed to heal pretty quickly when I used this. And I also like this for using it on my lips. And this one does not come with a scooper so you can use your finger or uh, use a Q-tip or something like that but it's a very different formula, very different texture. It's thicker, more emollient, and I really like it. It's just different. For skin treatments, I have a couple products I wanna share with you guys. I have two things that are comparable right here. This is a pumpkin honey glycolic mask. This is by Andalou Naturals. This brand has been around for a really long time. The very first time I discovered organic type, you know, like kind of organic skincare. It was like Whole Foods ages and ages ago. And I bought something from this brand and it was very expensive to me. The reason the Andalou Naturals one seemed so expensive to me was because I was broke at the time and spending even $10 on a product was really, really, really pricey for me. So I just wanted to share that. I just realized that after I recorded that clip there. I don't know, maybe the prices have gotten better, but it, I'll, I'll put the price up on the screen here. I honestly can't remember what it was. I feel like it was it was like affordable though, this one. And then I have the Makeup Artist Choice Pumpkin Exfoliating Mask. So quite similar, pumpkin honey, pumpkin. Okay, the texture of these products, you know, they're a little bit different. If you're not used to using glycolic acid related products and treatment products or doing any glycolic peels, these two are the place to start. This one is, a, to me, it feels a lot stronger than this one. I compared, I did half and half recently to test it out and to see if there was a major difference. I feel like maybe I like the formula of this one more, like the texture and how it looks and feels. Okay, so the Andalou Naturals product, it has 1% glycolic acid in it and it has Manuka honey, which is incredibly amazing for the body and I'm not sure about for the skin. I haven't really researched that yet, but this is a really nice product and this one has 10% glycolic acid, so it is a lot stronger. And as you can see right here, this is the Andalou Naturals and this is the Makeup Artist Choice. The texture, I prefer uh, this one for the texture and the feeling, but they're both quite similar. And I would really recommend this. I'm gonna try out some more products from this brand. I can do very high strength glycolic peels, but I don't do them that often. In the meantime, if I just want my skin to look better and to have like a subtle improvement, it's actually more than subtle, and have my face, my skin glowing the next day and looking a lot more youthful and plump, I use something like this. So this is a really great product and I would recommend it. Okay, some other skincare products I've been testing out and I've kind of gotten hooked on them and they're not quite as affordable as that one. I've been testing out Biosance products and this right here is their Squalane and Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. I bought a small size and this is their Squalane Probiotic Gel Moisturizer, also a small size. I'm sad because I'm gonna run out of this soon. I ran out of this, I used it all up. Beautiful product. You can't really, like, I can't really say if it's profoundly helping my skin because I would need to use it for a lot longer to be able to tell something like that. Certain products give you like instant gratification like these pumpkin masks, but most products, many products don't. So I just know that I really love how the Biosense products are formulated, how they feel, the actual ingredients that are being used are wonderful. So I love that product. I'm just not sure like they're a little bit pricier, so I'm not sure if I'm going to buy a big one of this. Now, their probiotic gel moisturizer feels amazing on the skin. It just like 
plumps up my skin, makes it feel so, so nice, you guys. I feel like this type of moisturizer would work for any skin type. So right here, as you can see, I have some color on my lips and I'm wearing these two products. I just like to mix them up. So here's like a true red color and this is, this color is called Punch and this one is Icon. And these products are their soft matte lip colors. Now in many, many, many of my past videos, I wear a color on my lips that looks similar to this. And a lot of people have asked me what I'm wearing. And in the past videos, I was wearing a Physician's Formula product or a few of them. And I finally found a better option, better, you know, basically a replacement to those products because I don't even think Physician's Formula sells them anymore. And even if they did, I'm done with them because I prefer Flower Beauty's soft matte lip colors. So beautiful. I have this in a bunch of different colors. They also have a lip stain that I really love. Okay, one other product I wanted to share with you guys is this got to be glued for brows and edges gel. This stuff is insanely potent. If you're looking for a brow gel that actually works, just don't use a lot of it. A little goes a long way. If you use a lot, it's gonna be like extremely, extremely crusty and crunchy. <laughs> Your brows will be really crusty basically. So this stuff is potent. You only need a tiny bit and it works amazingly well for a brow gel. Normally I don't use brow gels, but because they don't usually work, but this one does. Okay, so one other product that I haven't mentioned in a really long time is this Kirk's Castile Coconut Oil Soap. Let me open this up. Okay guys, it's a bar of soap. I know it comes in scented and unscented and since 1839, this has been around. This is wonderful. This is my favorite product just for washing my face and for my body. In the shower, nothing can beat it as far as I'm concerned. It is mild enough, but it still works to clean your face, to get your makeup off or whatever you have on your face. And I always use this after doing certain types of peels because it is soothing and it's not too harsh. I totally love this and I stock up whenever possible. I try to get the unscented, but I'm also okay with the scented version if those are my only, if that's my only option, basically. The last two products, I've mentioned these in the past video, so I'm sorry if you've seen that before, but I got two Paula's Choice products and this is their 1% retinol treatment and this is their 20% niacinamide treatment. I use this whole bottle. This I'm still using. The first time I used their retinol treatment, I got a legitimate retinol burn. This stuff is potent. You guys, a lot of people ask me if I use tretinoin and I do have prescription tretinoin. I have not been able to acclimate to it. My skin just peels all the time and I look terrible all the time. I've never gotten past it. Maybe I need to try something different. If anybody has any advice, let me know. But until then, until you guys give me some ideas, I've been using this and I don't want my skin to just like be peeling constantly. So I usually do a pump of this and an equal amount of um, whatever face cream I have that's really basic face cream with no, no additives or actives in it. And I will apply this to my face and neck, my hands or whatever. I do still have some peeling when I use this product, but it's not too bad and it's more manageable. And once in a while, if I've used something like this, let's say on a Saturday or something, and my skin is peeling all the way through Wednesday for some reason, at that point, like my skin isn't very sensitive and I'll end up using, if I wanted to get rid of it for some reason, if I had to go somewhere and it was noticeable, then I would use one of these products like this. I feel like it kind of just, sort of gently sloughs it off. Like I said, this one's a bit more aggressive than this one. This will slough it off and my skin will be like brand new again and nice and shiny and new. So that's basically it. I think I really appreciate you being here and checking out my video. I really hope that the sound is like okay and good enough because I'm probably gonna post it no matter what and just see how it goes, you know, see how the sound is. Hope the video looks okay, it's a new camera and uh, the settings are a bit different, so we will see. Thank you guys so much for watching and pretty soon I'm gonna be posting my update video on my skincare situation because there's so much that I haven't shared with you guys and I would really like to 
disclose and share some more of like what's honestly been has been going on with that situation because it's been like very stressful and it hasn't gone smoothly unfortunately it isn't just as simple as you might think and when it comes to skincare a skincare when it comes to skin cancer I honestly didn't take it seriously before I wore sunscreen religiously but I don't know, maybe it was too late with the damage I did years ago, but I still didn't think like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. But it is, you guys, it actually is. And it can be a lot worse than you think. And it's especially terrible for a lot of people because it's so common that the skin cancer for basal cell carcinoma to be on the face. So that's extremely difficult for people, as you can imagine. Anyway, I'm not trying to rant about that. I just hope that you guys will subscribe or check back for my update video. It'll be out pretty soon.